Hey, welcome back to MC Rider. We're going to continue our new rider series this week, and I want to show you an exercise that's going to help you continue developing that clutch and throttle control that's really necessary for slow speed riding and also for getting a motorcycle started. A lot of new riders will stall a motorcycle when they first start out. This exercise will help you develop that skill and avoid that embarrassing stall at the stoplight whenever you get ready to take off. So over the last couple of episodes in our new rider series, we've worked on clutch and throttle control. And we've got another exercise again that's going to help you develop that skill further. Now in the past, we've talked about the friction zone. Remember if I've got the clutch all the way squeezed in and I slowly release that clutch out as I give the motorcycle just a little bit of throttle, at some point the motorcycle is going to begin to move forward. And that is the friction zone. I can continue to hold the clutch in that position and I can ride a motorcycle at slow speeds by controlling the power of the motorcycle with the clutch. So you always want to control the power with the clutch and not the throttle. So as I release that clutch out, I get into the friction zone. We've got exercises, the first uh, few in this series to help you develop that skill and get a feel for that friction zone. Last time in this series, we actually started riding the bike. And if you haven't seen those two videos, that deal with the friction zone or any in this series, I encourage you to start at the beginning. You can go to mcrider.com slash new rider and get all those episodes. So this week we're gonna go out to the range and I'm gonna show you an easy exercise to help you develop that start and stop skill and get used to using that clutch and throttle in conjunction to help get the motorcycle started and to avoid those embarrassing stalls. So let's go out to the range and we'll talk about the exercise as you guys watch me demonstrate it. In this exercise, we're gonna build off of these last two exercises in particular, where we started developing that clutch and throttle control. Just to emphasize again, notice where I'm looking, not down at the controls, but across the parking lot. So as I ease out on the clutch, I gave it a little bit of gas I'm controlling the speed or the power of the motorcycle with that clutch. As I come to a stop, I'm squeezing that clutch in, using the front and rear brake all the way through the stop, and my left foot goes down first. In fact, when I'm out on the street, my right foot rarely touches the ground. If you stop in a controlled manner, you can keep that right foot on the brake and use your left foot to balance the motorcycle. As you develop the skill, you can begin to challenge yourself by picking out lines on the parking lot and trying to get the motorcycle to stop with your front tire directly over that line. The challenge is to not look down at the line to keep your head and eyes up as you bring the motorcycle to a stop and use your peripheral vision to see where that line is. That's going to help you develop that skill, keeping your head and eyes up the whole time you're on the road. So to re-emphasize a few of the takeaways from this exercise, first you want to keep your head and eyes up. You'll hear me say that a lot, but anytime you're on a motorcycle, you want your head and eyes up. You want to be looking across the parking lot. When you get out on the street, you want to be looking as far ahead. You want to break that habit of looking down at the controls as early as possible. And if you find yourself glancing down at the controls, just remember, keep the head and eyes up, keep them looking down range. Another thing, you want to be smooth with the controls. So if I'm smooth with that clutch and I release that clutch out smoothly, the motorcycle's going to start out smoothly and I'm controlling the power of that motorcycle with the clutch. If you're smooth with the controls, the motorcycle's going to be smooth when it starts out and stops. And third, as I came to a stop, my left foot went down first. Now, why is the left foot going down first important? Because you want to use that front and rear brake all the way through your stop. And the only way that you can develop that front and rear brake through the stop 
is by your left foot going down first. Now, why is that important to have your front and rear brake all the way through the stop? Because when you get in an emergency situation and a car pulls out in front of you, you want maximum braking power available. You only have maximum braking power on a motorcycle if you're using the front and rear brake in conjunction. So you wanna develop that habit. Every time that motorcycle stops, use the front and rear brake. And early on in practices like this and sessions like this, that's where you begin to develop that muscle memory so that every time you need to stop that motorcycle, you're going to the front and the rear brake. Hopefully this will help some of you new riders out. And if you're new to this series, go to mcrider.com slash new rider, and you can get caught up on all the videos that are in this series. Till next week, guys, this is Kevin with MC Rider, and we'll see you on the road. MC Rider is supported by our friends on Patreon. To learn how to support MC Rider and get access to the field guide, go to mcrider.com support.